Wonderland Plus New Ninja Express. Join us tomorrow morning on CBBC from 9am. Welcome to Horrible History's Outrageous Olympics. Yes! Oh, this is Olympic history in the making. On Mount Olympus. Brutal. I love it already. We've got a lot of work to do. Sporting yes. legends serving comedy gold. I can tell you. Horrible History's Outrageous Olympics. Streaming now on BBC iPlayer. Listen up, everyone. The latest dumping around I'm vlog is uploading to the web page. Ready to view in five seconds and counting. And this time, it's Tracy Beaker. Hiya! As most of you probably know, I'm Tracy Beaker. And you're probably wondering, what is going on? The thought did occur. And why is it me doing one of these vlog things? What can she tell us about life in care? So, let me explain. There's a little bit of a story attached. She's so cool. She's even got a pet name for me. Sparkles. This was supposed to be a big surprise from Mike. He wanted to do a vlog to tell you all what he'd been up to. But then Pather and his mum arranged a surprise holiday for him and Fiona to travel through France on a tandem. So he's had to drop out and he's asked me to step in. Wow, Mike taking a holiday. Don't think he ever dared leave this place and take them on the little tandem when he got back. He has asked me to pass on a message though. He says, hi everyone, I hope you're all being good. You know us well enough, Mike. Fat chance of that. Although I'm sure Floss will be saying there's a fat chance of that. How does he do that? <laughs> We're having an amazing time. The sun is shining, we've met loads of lovely people and tandems are a great way to travel, apart from the chafing. Chafing? What's that? It means he's got a sore bum. <laughs> So, there we are. Mike's off having fun, so you're stuck with me. But don't worry, I've got loads of useful stuff that I can pass on. We'll be the judge of that. Give her a chance, bro. She was like us once. So, here goes. Now, I've thought a lot about this, and I could have gone for something practical, like don't eat worms, even if it does seem like a good idea at the time. She's never going to. Why would someone ever eat a worm? Huh? And definitely don't do it for a second time. She bottled it. I knew she would. Tracy, don't. Oh! I could have gone with be yourself and not what you think others might want you to be. Hi, I'm Tracy Beaker and my hobbies include classical music, playing and listening. Literature, flower arranging and just generally helping around the house. <laughs> What? But in the end, I've gone with never forget tomorrow is just another day. And that's especially true the first time you arrive in care. That's never an easy time for anyone. And neither is coming back when things haven't worked out. And you never let me eat sweets. You whip smile watching horror videos and your kitchen skunk on wet dogs. And I never want to see you ever again. They were never exactly the calmest of times. It's a completely natural reaction. The reason you're here in the first place is because your life hasn't been going brilliantly. Wanting to lash out a bit is completely understandable. Jodie can tell you about that. When she first arrived, she did get a bit overexcited and slightly kicked Mike in the face. Wow, that's hardcore. It was an accident. Anyway, Tracy calmed me down. She was always good at that. I'm not getting in. I'm not asking you to. What is it? Bath jelly. Prove it. <laughs> Gonna give it a try. No. Jelly's not the same as water. I've had my fair share of rubbish first days, so I completely got what Jodie was going through. But when you're having a tough time, the important thing to remember is not to give up hope that things can get better. And the first step to that can be to allow yourself to have a little fun. My thing. Well, that's something different people describe very differently. But I'd probably say my thing is speaking my mind. 
You're what? You said I was child of the week. You're not supposed to tell her stuff and change your mind the minute you've told it. You're still child of the week, Tracy. But now Louise is too. And I'm not child of the week, am I? Because two childs make a children. Any thicko knows that. The way I see it, when you've got a problem, you can either let it get to you or you can stand up for yourself. Why is Tracy up on the roof? Please help! Don't let the council close us down! Save our lives! Stop the council from closing us down! Tracy! <laughs> I like to call it getting your point across. Other people may describe me as... Bossy. Really bossy. Being a tiny bit bossy. I just found the answer to the question. Three types of cow. Stubborn cow, stupid cow and bossy cow. I don't think Tracy's bossy. She just likes to get things done. And there is nothing wrong with that. Jodie, sparkles, keep Fiona distracted. Girls, remake the cake. Make it better than it ever was before. Boys, why don't you get on your bike and find Mike? Search everywhere. Tyler, the marquee needs cleaning up. Oh, and news too, if any of the guests arrive, just keep them occupied. Got it? Yeah. Okay, what have we got next? Ah, my passion. Well, there's only one winner there, and that's writing. I've always loved to write, even going back to when I was younger. I've come to type up my article. But may I see? Stupid social worker gives grieving kids grief in tactless TV treats trauma. Is that a stonker of a headline or what? And it turns out that I'm not terrible at it, even if I say so myself. And seeing the stuff that came out of your head out there in print in a book is a pretty amazing feeling. Hang on! That's not to say it hasn't got me in trouble from time to time. Tracy Beaker, that's what it says on the cover. You're under arrest. Did you pay Author Power Publishing to print 2,000 copies of your book using Camilla Lawson's credit card without her permission? Oh, well, yeah, but she's my mum. Using someone's credit card without their permission is an offence. Cam will be OK about it. Look, that's her. Listen, to Cam, thanks for a great life. Just call her, she'll tell you it's OK. I don't think so. She told the credit card company that you took the money. And let me tell you, there is nothing like losing yourself in a good book, especially my favourite one ever. This was mine. I gave it to T. Look, it's got my name in it. Yeah. Sasha gave it to me. I love it. That's because it's the best book in the world. It doesn't matter how grown up you get, there'll always be a bit of us that'll never stop being a lost boy or a lost girl. Anyway, let's see what's next. Ah, my biggest influence. That's an interesting one. I could have gone for Cam. She's taught me loads. Tracy's the girl I told you about who wants to become a writer. I'm so dumpable, the dumping ground doesn't even want me. Like, how to keep calm when you really want to blow your top. Oh, this is going to sound so stupid, but there's no other way to say it. I was jealous. It's always been just me and Cam here. Oh, come here. And what being a family means, that sort of <laughs> stuff. And then there are people who influence you in a different way. Like, and this might surprise some of you. Justine Littlewood. Tracy Beaker. Justine Littlewood. <laughs> Tragic. She's only cut out a picture from a magazine pretending it's her mum. <laughs> Let's be honest. She and I never exactly saw eye to eye. But all the same, she's still been a massive influence on the way I behave. Well, what's this? It's all me, 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 poor me. When are you going to realise there's other people in the world? Give it back. No. Justine, give it back! <laughs> right. Because when someone is as much of a nightmare as she used to be, all I had to do in any situation is think, what would Justine do? And then do the exact opposite. I dare you to dye your hair. Oh, you do, do you? Or just you stand back and watch Justin's snitch face? I'm never coming out of here. But if I have to name one person who's influenced me the most, it's got to be Mike. In the early days, I may have tested his patience from time to time. Do you not want to hear the Michael Milligan Children's Home welcome speech? Not the way you say it, your pants. There were even moments when I did find him a tiny bit embarrassing, like you do when you're a kid. I'm big, 
I'm mean. I'm a muscle machine. He wasn't the perfect teacher in every way. Let's just say he won't ever be opening a cookery school. What is it? Oh. I swear I just saw something moving there. Mm. It's mystery stew. What's in it? Well, uh, that's the mystery. <laughs> but from way back, I've always known that he was there for me. I'm sorry I didn't walk over 10, Julie. Better look next time, eh? If you want me to have better luck, Mike, you should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra. Cos I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. He's taught me so much and helped me get back on my feet more times than I can remember. Is growing up always this hard? Only when you care about things so much. When someone has given you so much, you just hope for the chance to be able to pay it back. Which leads me on to my best day. Well, it almost wasn't. It was nearly the worst day ever. But I can honestly say I've never been happier than on Mike's wedding day. May have taken them a while to get here, but it was worth the wait. So, here's to the best man from the best man. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yay. But typically, even on the most important day of his life, Mike was thinking about others and trying to find Ryan, even though he didn't exactly deserve it. It's Ryan, he's not here. He left a note, I think he's gone for good. Oh, Ryan. Mike had gone AWOL on his wedding day, which meant it was all hands on deck to find him. So I put the word out. Luckily, there were an awful lot of people out there, only too happy to help. If you hear any news, let me know. Back at base, Chloe, Sparkles and the gang held the fort. Ta-da! Oh, wow. You look like a princess. Oh, thanks. Oh, and thank you, Candy Rose. Sparkles. Meanwhile, out on the streets, it was Operation Get Mike Milligan Married. I'm gonna go. Uh, no, you're not. What? But I don't care what your problem is, Ryan. Tracy. Tomorrow I will. In fact, we all will. But there's no way on earth I'm gonna let you ruin Mike's big wedding day. I knew this was gonna be the day of the big best woman speech, and I was intending to storm that, obviously. But I hadn't expected to make an even more important one, and that was to persuade Ryan to do the right thing. Look, I've been you. I know how hard it is, but the best way out of all of this mess is to give something back. We've still got time. You can still save the day, Ryan. So then we were back on track. I wonder if that's where his thing for tandem started. And he's not wrong. The chafing's murder. Hey, wasn't it great of them to... Well, shut up and keep peddling. Come on, Ryan. All right. Keep your hair on. And so at last, the happiest day ever could happen for Mike, for Fiona, but also for me, because I'd helped make it happen. And they both deserve to be happy so much, especially Mike. So, thanks for watching. I know being in care isn't a walk in the park, but the important thing is to remember to stay strong and believe that things can work out better. And if something's bothering you, talk to someone. Don't bottle it up. See? She's all right. Yeah, she's all right, I suppose. Obviously, some of you I know better than others. Chloe and Sparkles, I got to know you a little bit, and I know that you two will always look out for each other. Maybe some of the others will get their own special nickname someday. And a special word to the two old-timers that I know best. Jodie, if you're having a bad day, you're never too old for a jelly bath. Beaker advice. The original and best. And Floss, can I suggest one thing? Here we go. Me singled out, as usual. And that is, whatever happens, keep being floss. It's what I'm best at. So, this is me signing off. I'm Tracy Beaker, and you are all amazing. Hey friends, are you-